Be like, come on, do ghetto superstar. Yeah, yeah he can do that. Without yeah. ODB and Maya. Yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> most people really cared to listen to ODB and Maya. That was it. B, uh, let me ask you a question, man. Did you see uh, You see your boy Prize? I did. Listen, man. I now, know. I didn't say, we, matter of fact, we were at the meet and greet. I handed Lone the phone because I saw it popped up on, I think, Art of Dialogue or something. Mm-hmm. I like dude. He got some good content, but... Apparently, this dude has been prize from the Fugees for the everybody keeping score at home. The He's lesser the other known guy. one, yeah. The other, <laughs> the tall one. Hey, I know. I have I have a friend that actually rides for prize as it relates to the Fugees. No, um, that's unfortunate. I mean, no, great, great, <laughs> great for him. <laughs> he got the ghetto superstar album in that crib. Yeah, I think I think that whole thing. Yeah, I think he. That's uh, cool. I guess he ain't that bad, man. I said, look, man. No, he is. No, yeah. I listened to another uh, other hip hop to where I'm like. Hmm. I'm not going to, I can't, no, I no, so. just no. Bro, if fam, that's your starting point, then no. Fam is, fam is accused of conspiring to funnel money from a government fund in Malaysia Ooh. to finance uh, Obama's 2012 presidential campaign with some with a Malaysian businessman, bro. And you scroll down, it says he faces multiple charges, including money laundering, campaign, fi- uh, campaign finance violations, acting as an unregistered agent, for foreign nationals, witness tampering, and lying to banks. According to uh, NBC, he could face up to 22 years. So my boy has been out here as an informant, man. I was beyond shocked. That's the first I've heard of this, and that's a lot to unpack. That is a lot, bro. Think about everything that I, that I just read in terms of... This has been an ongoing story. So bro. I, I mean, it's just not because it's pros is not at the top of... Most people's news feed, but yeah. I've, Dog, I've money been, laundering, yeah, I don't know, campaign dude. finance violations. I thought Proz would have been in jail by now. Acting as an unregistered agent for, for foreign nationals, witness tampering, and lying to banks, bro. You know how much stuff that is? Dude, lying to banks is enough to, <laughs> to get you caught up. Bro, you know. I, don't, I don't even know. When he said in, uh, informant, when I first saw it, I'm like, okay, so Proz out here, foul. You know, he in a uh, hip hop police underground or something like that. But when I read mm-hmm. this, I'm like, this is, this is way, yeah, worse. this is way beyond the streets. Yeah. That, is- but that was my initial reaction. I'm like this fool has been <clears throat> on some wiretap for hip hop or which would be really bad as old as he is and how long he's been in rap. But, well, you know, John Forte, mm-hmm. been along. Yeah, because he, he got caught up with like 20 pounds of liquid cocaine. Yeah, he did. Cocaine. And I was wondering if, if that was, I never thought about maybe there was a connection there. Yeah, as soon as I saw that, that's what I. I saw some people mentioning John Forte on um, like Twitter and and you know IG and stuff like that, mm-hmm. but I didn't really. But you know what's crazy? You know, who, I don't know the t- the timeline is one thing too you, though. Cause do you he, know who got uh, John Forte out of jail? George W. Bush. He did. Mm. He pardoned him. He was tied in with those kind of circles to where there were people who said, "Hey, you know, let's go ahead," because he got like life in jail. I didn't know. I was like liquid cocaine. I didn't, you know, I was like, let me not even uh, keep Googling this. I don't, or whatever was out at the time, Lycos or Ask Jeeves or whatever. This is how long yeah. ago it was. <laughs> Ask Jeeves. Um, <laughs> you know, and I was like, oh, wow. He's never coming home. Like, you know, and whatever money he made from that Poly Sci album is not going to be enough. Why you do you <laughs> to get him out of this? Bro. You don't remember the, the John Forte album? I, 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 I do, but I don't. I don't. I, I do, but I don't. I'm Didn't just he have like, was he like silver or something? It was like silver. He had, he had a song, like basically he redid 99 Red Balloons. Um, Wyclef did it. I think, I mean, DMX was on the album. Like it has some weird features on it. You, the people, what year did this come out? I want to say like 99, 97, like 98. Was probably. Yeah. This, but he was ar- around the same time that. Cause cannabis remember, signed with him. Yeah, because it was, oh, okay. it was it was all it was like cannabis, DMX, John Forte. It was always it was going to be this Mace or Cameron. It was this new generation of hip hop, and they included him in all that. Mm-hmm. Um, but remember, he was on the trying to say it, stay alive. He was on Cowboys on the Fuji's album. Yep, yep. I do you remember know? that. So he that had, song was fire too. Yeah, he had a bit of a buzz going for him. But I digress. I mean, we talking about Proz. Young Z was my from from the Outsiders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought he was going to be that dude. I mean, that's when I first heard Rod Digger. Yeah. So, Cowboys no. is still my joint. Um, but no, this this it might be a rap for fam. This is a that's a long list. Yeah. So we're it, not getting that Foodies reunion. I mean, we weren't getting it anyway. Remember we had <laughs> we had bets on how many shows they were going to show up late to. I think I wrote it down on a document, but I think I lost it because 
they ended up not really doing anything. So I think I had them missing 90% of the, <laughs> being late to 90% of the shows or something like that. Yeah, especially but, if Lauren was driving. <laughs> Yeah, but that had nothing to do with pros. <laughs> now, now it does. Yeah, yeah, you know. Hey, that's a hey, low key. They're gonna be like, "Well, y'all can't get your tour now because uh, fam going to jail." So I think they could still do it without them, couldn't they? Oh, I, much. I, they definitely could. Pretty I'd be much. there. Yeah. <laughs> Are they going? More people might. No, I ain't gonna say that. No, see, yeah, don't do yeah, that. I ain't, say, I ain't gonna do him like that. I ain't gonna do. It. I mean, I mean, what else was he gonna perform besides his verses? It wasn't gonna be like a special prize section. Right, he got some joints. Be like, come on, do ghetto superstars. Yeah, he can do that without yeah. ODB and Maya. Yeah, I was about to say <laughs> most people really cared to listen to ODB and Maya. That was it. You off ain't the, lying, though. You, you really Bull Wars soundtrack. Yeah, man, good call. Yeah. I can't even remember that movie. That was wa- Warren Baby. Warren Baby. Yeah, okay. Halle Berry. He was pretty much Donald Trump. Yeah, that's a long time ago, man. Yeah, yeah. They talked that movie up crazy, and it just wasn't great. <laughs> 